Worshipping God. All right. Worshipping God in spirit and in truth. All right. When you talk about spirit, it tells you about uh, the person, right? Is it a person? Spirit? <laughs> All right. When you talk about spirit, it's a person, right? It's not a wind. It's not a. It's not a force. It's not a. It's not a neuter. It's it's a person, right? When you talk about spirit, right? Okay. Do we have spirit? Yes. Do we have the Holy Spirit? Yes. Right. So when we talk about spirit, we talk about the person, and when we talk about truth, we talk about as well. Um, talk about God and His truth. All right. So this morning we are. How do we understand? God through Jesus Christ and uh, how do we view Jesus Christ as our God did God uh, allowed himself to be worshipped when he was uh, when he he reincarnated as Jesus Christ the flesh huh? did the disciples worship Jesus Christ yes how did they worship Jesus Christ that day during the time of Jesus, did they worship? Did they did they allow? Did Jesus did Jesus allow himself to be worshipped by his disciples? What is worship? No. Now I'm confused. When Jesus was here on earth, I remember his disciples worshipped him. Yes. He was the Son of God. He was the Messiah. He, he is called Lord. Now, Lord is not just a, a small word. Lord is a big, big time word during the time of Jesus. You know what I'm saying? So, Why when... Why is it big doubt? Like, yeah. Oh, it was Thomas. But during the miracles that Jesus performed by... Uh, the uh, turning the water into great wine. I think that was the mother. Yes. Like he has so so much adoration to the son. Like do whatever he says. Yeah. But if you read the New Testament, there is a worshipful attitude among the disciples towards Jesus. The, their attitude was, "Oh, Peter, who do you think I am? Who you are." You're the son of the living God. So they had this worshipful attitude towards, uh, towards Jesus, right? So Jesus, because he claims, right? He claims to be the son of God as well as the son of man. He allowed, he allowed his disciples to have a worshipful attitude to him all right you follow now so when jesus remember this jesus performed another miracle um, in john chapter 3 and then we'll go to john chapter 4 what did jesus perform there now he did not perform he just what's what's in john chapter 3 he talks about being born again, being being born from uh, from the Spirit or in the Spirit, being baptized by the Spirit. So to me, it's a miracle that he spoke those words. Remember, he spoke to Nicodemus, right? And he 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 challenged Nicodemus to. He wants to be. If he wants to enter into eternal life, then he he needs to be born again, right? Okay. So let's go now to John chapter four. What instance did you find that there is this connection or connection between worshiping Jesus as God and the passage there in Genesis uh, in John chapter four? John chapter 4 talks about, do you remember, the woman at the well? 
the Samaritan woman at the well. All right. If you if you open your Bibles there in John chapter four, you will you will read the story of uh, of the uh, woman at the well. And so Jesus was was asking for a drink because Jesus was tired. You know that, right? And uh, the woman said, you know, uh, how can I give you some drink? You are a Jew. <laughs> I'm a Samaritan. The Jews and the Samaritans, they just don't don't get together. They don't get along. All right. Yeah. All right. It's like the Palestinians and the. Uh, Israeli, you don't get along. It's like uh, who else doesn't go along? It's like uh, a disgruntled husband and a scornful wife. You don't get along, but they are related. <laughs> they are close. <laughs> it's like a, uh, a mocked friend and a betrayal as a friend. So they don't get along, right? But they are both friends, right? <laughs> Is that ha that happened. So the Samaritans, the Jews, they don't get along. So Jesus was trying to reach out. So Jesus was saying, you know, you just don't know who is asking. If you give me water to drink, you'll not be thirsty again. He said, uh, Lord, uh, I would like to have that kind of water that I will not be thirsty again. Right? So and then he said, well, I can give you the water of life and he and uh, Jesus uh, told that woman that, that the hour will come and at that time when he was talking to the, to the Samaritan woman that you will worship God in spirit and in truth all right so in essence Jesus was saying hey look I'm God but he was not saying directly to her. He was just saying, now you're, you're seeing God himself and you will worship in spirit and in truth because I am the truth, Jesus said. So in, in effect, he was allowing a worshipful attitude.